Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So this here may look like a few weeks worth of time. It's actually just the past few days broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis a few days ago, so that's where this annotation is coming from at support. But this is where the first update comes into play, and this update is based on a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So going forward, 525 is going to be one of those key areas of resistance if the price can get any sort of bounce. Um, and that's really kind of what I mainly want to focus on, because the very interesting part about this chart is it's looking like the bulls are – really 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 trying hard to finally form a bottom right here at four dollars and sixty cents and i'm not trying to make this like some sort of revolu revolutionary discovery i mean anybody that uses charts has observed the same thing and that is right here you can see i'm not going to count the number of times but the bears tried a whole bunch of times to press down through there and then you look right here the bears tried again a bunch of times try to push down through 460 and so far so good the bulls are holding strong now I wish trading was this easy and I wish the stock market was this easy just because the price has gotten beaten down and then just because the, a certain price level is doing a really job of supporting the price does not guarantee that, you know, next week this thing is for sure bouncing up to, you know, $6.50. Now, would be, would some sort of bounce be shocking? Would it be surprising? No, it wouldn't be shocking or surprising, but there is no such thing as a guarantee in the market. So myself nor anyone else can sit here and say that because 460 has been doing a great job of holding strong, it's guaranteed to bounce from here. Again, would it be shocking? No, but nothing is a guarantee. So going forward, like I said, 460 is that very important level of support for the very reason, as I just discussed. It appears to be the bottom, but you know, with the kind of in-your-face logic of charts, obviously if the price fails below there and then starts to separate to the downside, well, this would no longer be the bottom, right? And that's why I love charts because they pretty much insult your intelligence when you look at them certain ways. In the event there is some sort of bounce to the upside, already talked about the one level of resistance right up here at 525, but before even worrying about doing battle with 525, the bulls will first need to fight through that purple line there which is the 50 period simple movement average. So very interesting setup going into next week. Uh, you know, from a trading perspective, these are definitely ones where uh, if you're not good at risk management or risk control, then you should definitely stay away because those are definitely very key attributes for setups like this. So we'll see what next week brings and see if we can get some sort of bounce or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.